Before you watch Kinds of Kindness, I must ask you, have you watched Poor Things? And if your answer is yes, and you actually liked it, then you'll be fine with Kinds of Kindness. However, if it's a yes, and you did not like Poor Things, then I can't help you with that at all. I cannot help you with Kinds of Kindness because it feels like a fever dream. It feels like an alternate universe. Honestly, the rules of the world just seems a bit off. Kinds of Kindness is an amalgamation of three 55-minute fever dreams simultaneously. I repeat, this movie is basically three 55-minute mini-movies in one, with the same actors playing different roles in each movie or universe, and if that piques your interest, then you are in for an original story ride. Whenever you hear this film is written or directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, you should immediately know this is about to be weird. But it's definitely going to be very interesting if you enjoy original ideas or the concept of absurdism. Skinny men are the most ridiculous thing there is. This dude loves weird absurdist stories. Kinds of Kindness is a 2024 absurdist black comedy anthology film directed by Yorgos Lanthimos from a screenplay he co-wrote with Ephthemus Philippou. It stars Emma Stone, Jesse Plemons, Willem Dafoe, Margaret Qualley, Hong Chow, Joel Alwyn, Mamudu Athi, and Hunter Schaefer. And now for the plot of this really weird film followed by pros and cons. Three stories revolve around a man who tries to take control of his own life, a policeman whose wife seems like a different person, and a woman who searches for someone with a special ability. You know when you have a weird dream and you aren't quite sure what it was, but everything sort of made sense in your dream, and then after a couple of hours have passed, you think to yourself, what the f was that? That's how this movie felt. It feels like a multiverse of different possibilities, all bound by one loose fitting story arc. It's wonderful. And now for the pros and cons, starting with cons. Con number one. This movie seems to make sense and then it does a complete 180 and then your brain just does not compute. But you were still strangely grounded to the story. It won't lose you. It definitely will not lose you, but you won't compute. It feels like the question, what is the meaning of life? Con number two, the three story structure would probably be off-putting for people who lack patience. Con number three, there is no exact reason for this film to exist, even though I'm glad it does exist, because well, I'm an absurd person. Con number four, it has some really gruesome situations that are quite shocking. You've been warned. Con number five, depending on who you ask, I did not want to see Willem Dafoe's tongue inside Emma Stone's mouth. But good for him. It was gross. And now for the pros. Pro number one, even though all three stories are absurd and feel like a fever dream, they have a near logical conclusion. So you don't have to feel like they left you hanging, but it's still, a what the f situation. Pro number two. Every actor in this film is perfect in every weird scenario they were in. It just worked. Pro number three. This film was shot right after Poor Things and practically has the same cast and crew. Well, subtract a few actors here and there. However, the interesting bit is that they moved on to the next project, having not seen the first project that was Poor Things, but they all knew it was going to be a weird ride because it's Yorgos Lanthimos. Side notes, I want to be in the same room to watch the pitch meetings for these films. I want to know who signs up on this stuff. The director just walks into the room and just goes, okay, everyone, all right, listen out. Here's, here's my idea. I want to create this movie. There are going to be three structures to it. So they're all like 55 minutes each and they all have different storyline, but one thing in between them kind of like is the same. And then there's going to be this universe where dogs drive and the dogs are kind of like what humans would be and then the humans are like what dogs will be give me money get the hell out pro number four the pacing of this film is very easy to follow so you definitely won't get lost in its absurdity 
Pro number five. Only one character is exactly the same in every story. So if you can spot who that is, because that's the only person who strings all three stories together. I'm going to go ahead and rate this movie a very weird seven out of 10 because it does not need to exist. But if you want something original, by God, you are getting it. I definitely recommend this movie, but to a specific handful of people, those who like arty things, those who just want to see something different, and people who are genuinely absurd or have patience. If you don't fit into any of that category, do not watch this film, you are going to have a bad time. Two people on a date in the cinema I was in, they were eating their popcorn and their ice cream. As soon as they finished eating, they just left the cinema because this movie wasn't for them. So maybe this is not a great date movie unless you guys are already well acquainted or are about that life, that arty life. And that's my two cents. Watch this video for other works of Yorgos Lanthimos.